all that jazz. Honestly, um, that'll be more fine tuning down the road. What I want to do now is I have gone ahead and sliced uh, everybody's favorite, which is, I shouldn't say everybody's favorite, Zombie Hedgehog's favorite, uh, which is a Swatch truck. And what you would do is you have a G code, a G, G code files folder. And here you can upload just like you would Octoprint and have as many um, folders and subfiles and everything that you want, right? So I've got these over on my other computer, so you're just going to see them materialize up there in a second. And you're going to see down in the bottom right is these two files pop in. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. So the swatch truck's going to be the quickest to do. So once again, we'll just click on that and we'll say print. We get a nice little image of what it's going to look like. And click and go. Now you'll see that my um, numbers on here, my bed went to 65 and my extruder dropped down to 170. It does that for a reason. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to cool down to 170. It'll run the probe, and that way I shouldn't get any oozing of the filament as it goes around and does its uh, homing sequence and then its bed, excuse me, its bed mesh probe. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take the mic, maybe. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. Exactly. I hear it move as it makes the quicker moves, but you can't really hear the fans. And, you know, even the up and down is really, really quiet. So, once again, that's why I love the linear rails, is they are just so quiet compared to my V wheels. That, and then once again, having your silent stepper drivers, you know, it's always good. But what it'll do is it's going through and doing the bed mesh. And I tend to do um, 5x5 or even 7x7 seven seven just so I get a better bed mesh and a better first layer. And then on our interface that you're seeing over here on the, on the right corner, what we can do is scroll down just a little bit. And on this tool head section, you see a Z offset. So I could sit here in the interface and raise it up or down and I can, this is basically live Z adjust right here. And you can fine tune in that first layer squish. You can also do it off of your LCD screen, just like anything else, click in it, go down to tune, and then you'll have speed, flow, and offset Z. And then you can manually adjust your offset on the screen, or you can do it through the web interface. It all depends on what you want to do. If you've got the, if you're running headless, like I have my zero G downstairs right now, it's pretty much headless. I can bring my phone, a tablet or anything, and I can live Z adjust right through the GUI interface. So,
And the way I have it set up, once it's done, it'll come to the front corner and heat the extruder up to the, to the printing temp. It'll purge line along the edge here, and then it'll come and start to print. And meanwhile, guys and gals, it's cake time. So I am going to have a quick bite of cake. And I will try and figure out why this one is still showing. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, hey, everybody. <coughs> so once again, it's going to come up to temp. Yeah, yay, cake. Um, I don't know if, if you guys have never or ever heard of a company called Nothing Bunt Cake. These things are fabulous. The cakes are moist. And in the center, they actually like get a whole bunch of icing in the center. So if you want a lot of icing, you have it. If you don't, you don't need it. Um, they'll even get them to you uniced if that's what you want. And I can't have a lot of it just because of my stomach surgeries, but. And so we are high. Okay, and if you give me one second. Thank you, Stephen Poole. Thank you, Chewy. Oh, uh, you're going to sing to me. Thank you. Yeah, you really, you really can't hear much. It is very, very quiet print. Um... Where, oh where? Let's see. We'll pop you off here. See if we can't bring you over and give you a little more of a close-up view as it prints. Hey, Daddy Wazzy, how's it going? Oh man, thank you for the raid. That is awesome, dude. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Hey, Poo Dog, how are you doing tonight? Doing great. Um, we just finally got started on our first print. It's a Swatch truck, um, but this is a brand new uh, printer. This is a uh, an Ender uh, conversion to a Voron switch wire. Um, very similar to the red one right here, which is known as Red Dragon. This is his brother, Blue Dragon. And we just walked through the first commissioning steps of, of a new Voron printer, or any printer for that matter. It's the same steps, just to make sure that, you know, are your thermistors working? Are your heaters working? When you go to heat, you know, set it at like 40, 50 degrees, just to make sure that it heats up. Um, that your fan comes on when it's programmed to come on and so forth. Um, then you then you would run a PID tune to tune your heaters. Um, you go through and you do your initial bed levels, check your probes, check your motor directions and everything. You know, we, we went through that whole process and we just started our first print on this. So, 
Yeah, doing great, Daddy Wazzy. Uh, as we said, it's a birthday stream, so I just broke out the cake. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of this. This is a uh, Oreo cookies and cream bunt cake from Nothing Bunt Cake. Hmm. So the bunt cakes are like the ring cakes. Um, and when they do it, they just do like little icing drizzles and then a big pile of it in the center. So if you want a lot, you can get a lot. If you don't, you can always just get around it and then scoop it to the side and you're good to go. So how are you doing tonight, Daddy Razzie? What did you do on stream tonight? And how are you doing today, tonight, uh, Poon Dog? What have you been up to? Yeah, now that we got it kicking up a bit, I'll go ahead and we'll try the uh, the old sound test again because that band started kicking in. Yes. Yeah, so you can tell. I mean, it's it's not really loud. And Based on my setup around here, I, I have two or three printers going at a time while I'm sitting in here working and not have an issue. It's not really that much noise. Okay, so on the vase assembly, is are you going to do vases with those flowers that you were printing? Because you were printing all the silk flowers for the bar, correct? Yeah, honestly, Poon Dog, that's what I'd be doing is just chilling, watching uh, uh, watching live streams and stuff on a Friday night. But um, we just started, like I said, I've got about 15, 20 more minutes, and then I'm going to have to have a hard cut for the night. Um, my son and his husband are flying in uh, from Denver tonight. So we got to go and pick them up at the airport. They're going to spend be with us till Wednesday uh, so that's why I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow morning um, which I did update the Twitch schedule I believe so um, yeah so we're doing good there and we started the swatch truck and I I was trying to eat some cake so I didn't notice on my purge line that we were way high so this probably isn't going to come out too well just because we were lively adjusting um, as it was laying down the first layer, but we'll be good. We'll get it done. But the good thing is, is this, this printer is finally done, um, and we'll get this added, this newly commissioned. We'll do some fine tuning on it and get it on the, on the print line back here, and uh, we'll uh, work on some other things. Meanwhile, while this is playing, let me see if I can bring up, yeah, that one. So this is a MacGyver dragon that I just printed uh, yesterday. And this is Polymaker Silk Gold PLA. And yeah, this came out really really good in fact i'll just pick them up and bring them over so i'm going to be going back to colorado for uh rocky mountain rep rap festival and it just so happens that well that's where i got married and my best man's still there and his kids asked if they could have some dragons and one of them wanted this style dragon and gold. 
so I mean that's pretty much almost a full arm's length there and then the other one wanted the cinder wing uh, rose dragon and a dark red so I have a oh I think it's polymaker rose gold and another one that I think I'm going to go ahead and try and print out in and take a couple of different reds with I also had a sign that was made by the Free Heathen, if you guys are aware of him. And it's a Dragon Layer sign. This is the first print. I obviously still need to clip it together. And I may reprint this and do a dual color so that the dragon and the, the outline of the frame is black or some other color. So it stands out a little bit better. Hey, Subsector! Birthday stream! Um, yeah, so that polymaker is... I don't check myself here. I'm just going to double, triple, triple check. Polylight. PLA and it is silk gold and I also have probably make a PLA Pro in gold Let's see if I can get I just realized one of my lights I never turned on. Um, and so I'm looking, I, I was going to print it in this as well. And then I realized, ooh, that's gold and it's PLA Pro, which might work well as I print the Rook. So I have a couple of different colors of the PLA Pro. So I think I'm going to print the Rook in PLA Pro. Hey, Western One. How are you doing? So, Subsector um, made me some Twitch emotes. And I got them uploaded today, but I still haven't... I'm not seeing them on my end. Are you all seeing my new Twitch emotes, or are you just seeing the LOL? Is that the PLA Pro Gold or the Silk Gold, Chewy? Okay, just seeing the LOL. Yeah, so Subsector was nice and created a couple of emotes for me last night, some Dragon emotes. And I did get them uploaded earlier today, but I think it has to go through a review um, by Twitch. And we're just waiting on that, so hopefully in an upcoming stream, that'll be, anyway, hopefully in an upcoming stream, that'll be um, loaded and, and able to be used. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to be on too much longer tonight, gang. Uh, once again, sorry for that because I do have a hard stop to go get my boys. And I will not be streaming tomorrow at 10. Let me rephrase that. I do not plan on streaming tomorrow at 10 a.m. I may pop on for a short bit just to chat, shoot the shit, maybe uh, start another print and have that going. Um... But it, it all depends. If, if the kids are jet lagged and sleeping in, then I may pop in, but I'm not going to guarantee it. That would be at 10 a.m. Eastern time if I do it. 
And it would only be until somebody comes to this to the door and tells me, hey, we're up, let's go. Um, so, but I'm trying to get you guys in here and, and show you how we're printing here. We're coming out pretty good. You know, once we got the initial uh, Live Z adjust down, the camera, we started coming out really good. And I do have, you, you do see some res residue on here. I do have some residual, um, oh goodness gracious, uh, what do you call it, bed water, I was like, ah, yeah, I do have some residual bed weld on this, I was trying to initially do the rook on this, on the, uh, window, and so this bed normally sits on the end, but I'm, I'm short, a spring still shoots somewhere, which means I probably gave one too many to Evil Diesel. Um, oh, thanks for the happy birthday, Poo Dog. Um, so I need to get another spring steel sheet. I really, really like these Ultra Stick Black Editions. They're really awesome. Um, but I'll get a new spring steel sheet in and get that added um yeah and then just keep printing on i need to put a little bit of hours on this just to kind of break it in break the motion system in maybe tighten the belts again after i broke it in a bit but yeah i've been really pleased with how this build went thank you all so much for joining me on that ride um up next which like like i said tomorrow if i do anything it's just going to be a uh, chatting and throw another print on this just to bear it in some um, and either two, well they're still going to be here Tuesday night so Tuesday night stream may just be a shorter chat and chill stream again and then most likely starting the following Saturday which will be the 18th again um, so a week from tomorrow uh, what I will look at doing is opening the Elugu Mars uh, 2 Pro and the Mercury Wash and Cure Station we'll do an unboxing get that set up and you know play with that a little bit Bedroll on my hands. But yeah, and like I said, eventually it's, it's well, sort of a mess over here that you can't tell, but um, this table right over here, all of this stuff's going to get cleared off and properly stored, and this is where the resin printer will go. And I'll just fully block off the window um, to keep from having any issues with the resin. But, yeah. Yes, I will eat more cake, Daddy Wiser. Like I said, I have to be careful on the sweets because I have had some gastric surgeries. Um, so I just can't eat a lot of it all at one shot. Um, but I will eat some more cake. Um, and at this, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, does anybody have a suggestion on who to raid over to? So I would like to raid over and have you all join me as we raid into somebody um, before I have to bounce off here real fast. Yeah, for me, surprisingly enough, Daddy Wise, it's not the icing, it's the cake itself. Ever since I've had the surgery, like cookies and cake and bread will normally, like, my, my body's just like kind of no bueno with it. 
Foxing is streaming. I have never heard of Foxing, so I don't know who that is. Silverback Games is on? I'm gonna have to jump on Twitch real fast and find out his full name. Holy cow. Alright, Chewie, you say Silverback Games is on and I know he's come and hung out with us before. Um, Buddha, I, I, I don't know Foxing yet, so I'd have to check that one out. What is Silverback Games working on tonight? Skull is on as well. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I had Silverback Games on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Silverback Games is showing us offline. Okay. You see Nordic Skull? We, we can do Nordic Skull. Is, is he actually on and talking or is he just streaming? So he's actually up in stream, so let's uh never Digital oh, Dragon you know with what? the follow. Welcome in Digital Dragon. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Feward. Guys and gals, let me I actually go over to the face nigga. Because I do want to show him that print before actually I can't show him. Um yeah, no, okay, we'll go over to Nordic Skull. We'll go over to Nordic Skull. Okay, so with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and head out over to Nordic Skull. And thank you so much for joining me this evening and coming on this journey with me as we built um, Blue Dragon here. I will post a print of this um, Swatch truck. And like I said, I, I will probably work on some more tuning over this over the next few days to a week. And we'll, we'll start getting it dialed in a little bit better. But thank you so much. Let's go together over to Nordic Skull. And thank you for the uh, well wishes and the happy birthdays today. Thank you, Stephen Poole. See you guys later, and I'm sure we'll see you around. We just went ahead and kicked off that raid. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.
this is not today. Stephen Falls in here. Oh, where are we? Yeah. yeah. Um, for those of you who are just coming in, this is not like you can see this printer right there in the top left. This is actually on how I make a website now. Hey, Digital Dragon. Uh, how's it going? How, how was your birthday stream? Happy birthday. Don't forget, I was supposed to prepare. I said that very strangely, and I don't know why. Uh, stream went well, we commissioned Blue Dragon and MVP Pro to launch the show. Very nice. Thank you. 